Hello everybody and welcome back with a new topic. Today's topic is going to be about the action potential phases. We're going to start by drawing a normal action potential of a myocardial cell and then describe every stage. Vertically we have the membrane potential. in millivolts and horizontally we have the time in milliseconds we start from negative 100 and for the time about 300 milliseconds okay so for the action potential we're going to draw it it's usually like this so this is a normal action potential for a myocardial cell for the fast response so the stages are as follows phase one starts over here Phase 1 is called the depolarization phase. Or the upstroke of the action potential. Phase 2 is over here. And it's called the initial repolarization. Phase 3 is over here, and it's called the plateau phase. And phase 4 is this one over here going down and it's called the repolarization and the last phase is over here and it's called the resting membrane potential. Okay, now we're going to discuss about the ionic conductance during the action potential. For the depolarization phase, sodium is entering the cell in very high quantities. And this is how sodium is entering the cell. For the potassium, it enters the cell like this. And for calcium, it is found inside the cell like this. Now we're going to explain them in another graph to show how ions enter and exit the cell during the action potential. So starting with the first phase, which is the depolarization phase, the most important ion is sodium. Sodium enters the myocardial cell and this produces the depolarization.
on reaching to the maximum point, 99% of the sodium channels close. For the second phase, which is the initial repolarization, it is mainly caused by potassium leaving the cell. For the third stage, which is the plateau phase, it is mainly caused by calcium entering the cell and potassium leaving the cell in an equal amount. And then for the fourth phase, which is the repolarization, it is caused by potassium exiting the cell. And for the last phase, which is the resting membrane potential, the cell returns back to its normal activity with normal ion conductance. So this was the action potential phases and ionic conductance. We're going to discuss in later videos details of how ions enter and exit the cell during the action potential. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon again in the next video.